गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर सर एम आई ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाँ गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सो So I welcome you for the second session of day five of Atal FDP on textile design. So for our uh, second session, we are having with us Dr. A K Chaudhary, head of textile technology department, NIT Jalandhar. He will be delivering a topic on textile fibers. So over to you, sir. You may start the presentation. Le chalo to, le chalo to. Full me karo. Authority de di ho isko. Yes, sir. Just to wait, I am audible to all of you. Yes, sir, you are audible. Now, just to wait a few uh, minutes uh, for just uh, showing your presentation. Okay, sir. स्लाइड शो सो दिखाई शेयर द स्क्रीन सर योर स्क्रीन इज नॉट विजिबल यहाँ से लो ना यहाँ से शेयर करने वाला करो ना हाँ So uh, now is it visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's visible. No matter. Run away. Okay. So anyway, uh, today I got the opportunity to uh, in front of all of all of you for just to introduce and discuss the uh, sciences and our technology behind the behind the, uh, this uh, textile fibers. So so basically, uh, everybody knows this food, shelter, and clothing are the basic needs of. One uh, minute. Risha, can you call me? Uh, so everybody knows this food shelter and clothing are the basic needs of everyone and all clothing is made from the textiles and our shelters are made uh, more comfortable hey, camera to bandhi kar dena ha camera to band kar do na camera yaar aane do agar dekhna hai to ha camera band hai band hai ha So, is it visible to all of you? Uh, is it visible to all of you? Ah, uh, Samridhi, I am, I am yes, audible. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And, and, and PPT is also looking. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, okay. Moment, man. Okay. Did I show you, Samridhi? Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's okay. visible. You may start. So, so i would like to just introduce this uh, text textile fibers so i have some um, uh, observations everybody knows this food shelter and clothing are the basic needs of the everyone and all clothing is made from the textiles and our shelters are made more comfortable and attractive by the use of textiles uh, in the form of cloth in form of other textile materials textiles uh, have a such an important uh, bearing uh, bearing um, uh, bearing and like a cloth bearing especially in the form of cloth 
to our daily lives everyone needs to know something about about them especially for the textiles what is textiles how it produced and what are the properties and comfort properties given by the by the different various category and types of textiles and also uh, we have information that from earlier times people have used textile of various types for uh, for the covering or for the modesty of the society for the purpose of warmth and for the for, for the purpose of personal endowment or, or to also to display personal wealth means uh, for just to identify the people uh, from the society ki i am just different from you and uh, from the i i have some certain uh, means uh, features than 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 you and other peoples and even for the even for that even also the, the textiles used for the biomedical purposes uh, like a uh, wound coverings and uh, for the other purposes and also for the some technical purposes uh, of the daily lives so basically the use of fibers for the textile uh, purpose is one of the main kinds oldest art and our uh, and this is started from the ancient history everybody knows this silk route and how the silk it traded uh, from this uh, india and china to the uh, uh, european countries so this is the one of the oldest industry oldest uh, means uh, 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 means area of the industrialization that grew with the with the civilization of the human being so the study of textile fibers have become a very interesting and challenging science and now continued at this moment also continued for many uh, and many and many researches and r and d are going on uh, for the development of new fiber for the development of new yarns for the development of new fabrics and also for the development of new finishes with the help of chemical sciences chemical engineering knowledge so uh, today this uh, this presentation my presentation is related to uh, the the sources of fibers processing their processing their properties physical properties mechanical properties chemical properties and also the utilization means application of uh, fibers so uh, from last 100 years ago all of the all the fibers em employed by the men were from the natural sources Uh, everybody knows this cotton is the one of the oldest fibers jute and etc silk and also uh, other fibers natural fibers the continual development of fibers is more influenced by the climate climate in hot climate the vegetable fibers they are, are developed first and 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 wool uh, like wool fibers uh, hair and fur based fibers they are developed for the cold countries so uh, especially in the cold countries the expensive silks were also used for the wealthy and noble and a privileged section of the people they are used for just showing their wealthness their um, uh, means uh, noble um, personality to the society so anyway uh, the textile fiber is a material mainly made from the natural or or synthetic sources or you can say also the man made sources this material will be converts into the um, into making of textile yarns initially and then the fabrics and then we are uh, fabrics through the process of woven knitted and non woven is also another process and 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 also making a carpets hand top carpets and the all these are the ancient technology we used in our society for the uh, uh, converting converting the fibers into the product so anyway the study of textile fiber knowledge is now become very essential uh, very essential and very essential why the certain fabrics are more durable and serviceable for a specific purposes everybody tries to know every researcher every consumers every people involving in either um, marketing of the textile product or developing the textile product every every uh, person uh, wanted to know what are the properties of this fibers what are the properties of this uh, product and how and what level of the comfort to be provided by this products so therefore the complete knowledge of textile especially the fiber will facilitate to all of you uh especially for intelligent appraisal of the standards and different qualities like comforts what level of comforts how what type of comforts to be provided by the textile products all different type of textile products are available in the markets so anyway so from the last um, past uh, there are many types of textile fibers that have been used or developed in the textile production or uh, textile production uh, for the cloth means fabrics uh, for the ropes uh, for the household household products uh, and also for the other products technical textile products
so therefore textile industry so uses many fibers as its raw material so all the industries all the product is just derived and developed from the uh, basic material basic material raw material is the fibers so anyway so as a result of this development of new fibers and new comfort levels we needed to uh, know the full sciences full sciences and detail and knowledge of the fiber that is the uh, required for uh, everyone so human is a friend and now come on the means what about the psychology psychology of the people and right now everybody aware about the fashion fashion becoming a part of the life and uh, human is the friend of the fashion in nature by nature so the desire for better garment and apparel resulted in the development of textile fiber production and textile manufacturing process so whole the fashion now depends on the development of new fiber development of new yarn development of new fabrics and accordingly they they produce the apparel they produce the cloths for the market and initially the natural fibers um, normally meet the all the requirement for the human consumption in terms of the comfort especially in the comforts everybody knows this comforts of the cotton comforts of the comforts of the cotton comforts of the comforts of the cotton and comforts of the uh, some other uh, category of natural fibers so textile manufacturing process involves the production or conversion of textile fibers through a defined uh, defined and given process in a product uh, so 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 the different process sequence is required for different fibers uh, for the making in yarns so so the whole the technology technology of yarn manufacturing technology of the fabric manufacturing and also the technology of the apparel apparel manufacturing basically depends depends on the raw materials so so it is a high time to must to know the in detail about the uh, fibers so here i got a chance to show and discuss the some points or some some science especially this textile fiber science in front of all of you so the word textile basically came and derived from the latin terms that is the textiles which means the woven and today the whole world textile is more generalized to refer to the product made from the fibers and the history of the fiber is one of the oldest history as the as the human civilization in our human civilization civilization just human civilization is just started uh, started along with the development of the textile product so Uh, so next next question is what is the fiber uh, all material not uh, may be considered as a fiber so um, fiber needed a certain uh, sort of dimensional properties some physical properties and some uh, some chemical properties so a unit of matter which is capable of being spun spun into a yarn means able fiber is able to spinning or made into a fabric by bonding or by interlacing so so kisi bhi tarah se uh, either by the process of bonding or either by the process of interlacing interlacing is just uh, done on the weaving machines so so a material must be the unit of matter which is capable of being being spun into a fiber so initially the fiber is able to convert into the yarns and then in a yarn is used for the uh, making a fabrics so fiber fiber can be defined as a pliable hair like strand that is very small in diameter in relation to its length so length is far far higher than the diameter so length and diameter ratio is another criteria for the uh, fiber to be considered for the industry and fiber are the fundamental units or building blocks used in the making of textile yarns and similarly for the fabrics so fabric depend on yarn and yarn depend on the fibers so here you can see here you can see this is the fiber and converted into the yarns and then converted into the fabrics and then the converted into the uh, final product so the first question is how you can classify and what are the different type of materials or fibers available in the industries either in india or in the uh, at the global levels so textile fiber basically textile fiber classified in two categories one is called natural and sec uh, second is manufactured fibers so natural fibers we just to, uh, get from the uh, natures either from the vegetable sources or either from the natural animal sources or either from the min mineral sources 
and at the same time uh, man made fibers uh, means manufactured fibers that is and this is synthetic fibers you can say then regenerated fibers so normally synthetic fibers they derived and came from the caprolactam came from the petroleum um, 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 oils uh, petroleum crude oils uh, so uh, uh, these are the by, by product of all petroleum uh, um, processing industries uh, uh, such a refining uh, refining industry another industry and uh, regenerated fibers normally came from this spruce trees cotton plants and other wood, 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 wooden pulps so the regenerated fiber is just generating one converting one form to another form means higher dp of material degree of polymer of material converted into converted into the lower degree of dp of the materials so regenerated fibers means the this is the simply as as, as the name it is clear this is a regeneration regeneration means the material raw material used for such type of fiber is again from the natural sources but not in the form of fibers they are formed in the uh, trees or they are formed in the wood pulps and then come on the another classification that is the high performance fibers so now the market and uh, demands of this high performance fiber is also increases and uh, so many r and d uh, works are ca is carrying on uh, in order to develop this high performance fibers and in the, our country no, no uh, not any such uh, industries is involving but the industries especially in the industries to you and other industries of the this um, japan they develop day by day new 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 and new fibers and another is the bi component fiber that is the modification of the structure of fibers bi component it names indicate that the, we are using the two fibers in a one extent of material extent of the fibers so come on the overall uh, view you can see the overall view of this classification of fibers one is the natural source animal and from the sericates uh, sericates means just from the secretion so and another uh, is from the hair bulbs the wool is coming from the animals and uh, basically uh, that is the hair bulb and animal hair horse horse hairs these are also used for uh, uh, for the textile product so silk is the very known uh, uh, fibers and coming from the silk worms so this is the one way animal source of this generation of fibers manufacturing of fibers we are getting from the animal sources and another is vegetable sources and vegetable sources from the seeds so cotton is the uh, good example we are getting from the cotton ball or cotton plants and uh, especially uh, from the seeds uh, through the seeds the cotton fiber are attached in the seed balls cotton balls and from the inner bark uh, flax flax inner bark means uh, from the plant uh, corresponding plant respective plant flax hemp jute and uh, remi and uh, kenap these are the example of this uh, inner bark uh, means uh, from the uh, bark of the plants and uh, india is also known for the production of jute and similarly bangladesh is also known for the production of jute so anyway from the leaves be just manila and sisal and these are the some example of this uh, we are getting from the source of this leaf plant leaves and similarly from the fruits quad quad everybody knows this nariyal coconut and fruit the coconut quad coconut uh, uh, fruits we are getting this quad and government of india ministry of textile accordingly they they just quad board national quad board and this national quad board day by day uh, doing a, a good r and d works for the development of new product from the quad fibers so any anyway, we come on the another part and that is the man made fibers mean a uh, fiber such a range of fibers manufactured by uh, by the man by the scientists by the r and d people and uh, so there are two uh, one is the artificial and that is a capro uh, capro and this is the viscosrion model polynosic these are the list of the artificial um, uh, man made fibers and at the same time synthetic based on this organic acrylic ac acrylic polyesters uh, poly poly propylene pp is uh, that is also one kind of very popular fibers so polyester polypropylene pp acrylic is the example of this organic synthetic fibers organic synthetic man made fibers inorganic fibers and from the metals metal fibers and from the boron and although and other fibers like a textile glass gar carbon and other fibers so this is the overall view of the classification of fibers and here you can see that there are two main sources one is the natural sources and another is the man made sources and in the under the man made sources synthetic uh, organic inorganic and other other category of the fibers 
so essential properties of the fiber forming so what are the properties to be required for the ideal good fibers uh, good fiber in terms of the product so both natural and man made fibers are mainly composed of high polyester system polymers system or macromolecules polymer system or a macromolecules of the textile fiber must be satisfy the minimum requirements if it is to serve as a fibers so so all the polymer not will become a uh, fibers so certain range of the uh, polymers only become a fibers that based on the chain molecular chains and other chemical uh, description and criteria of the chemicals so essential properties to be required for the good fiber that 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 is the hydrophilic and uh, that is a chemical resistance uh, level of chemical resistance that not easily degraded in the acid during the acid treatment or during the any alkali treatment or during the any chemical treatment hydrophilic means the means attraction affinity of the fibers with the waters and ultimately water makes the fiber more compatible given a certain change in the physical uh, characteristics mechanical characteristic of the fibers so it should be linear should be long and capable of being oriented in a uh, longitudinal axis or in the long Functional manner, so that the fiber become uh, fi that will uh, treated and taken as a fibers, and high melting point uh, for the polymer systems, and the high melting point just given a sustainability of fibers for during the use means easily at the at the at the temperature of washing at the temperature of uh, means applications says that they do not easily degraded uh, uh, during the exposure of any high temperatures. So so certain level of MP melting point is also required for the of the Poly polymer system. Suppose the, that polymer is used for the in the textiles area of the textile domain of the textiles. So come on the first fiber, uh, natural fibers, and that is the very very popular fiber. And and the on on the basis of application and on the basis of comforts and. especially in the basis of the application larger and larger application in our society in our industries uh, especially this cotton based fabrics cotton based garments so that's why this uh, fiber is called this king of fibers one of the best fiber suitable for our climate and cotton is the most important naturally derived vegetable fibers a shrub in the uh, malvasia family the, the cotton plant came uh, this is the botanical name of the cotton plant malvasia family and cotton is a soft staple fiber that grown in the form known as a ball cotton ball and around the seeds of the cotton plant the, all the fibers are attached uh, with, with the seeds with the seeds thousand and thousand fiber attached with the one seed and uh, thousand of seeds is just present in the one cotton ball and uh, just initially during the harvesting we just to pluck the harvesting picked this cotton cotton balls cotton balls and through the cotton balls we have through the process of ginning and through the process of ginning we just to obtain the fibers so here you can see the cross sectional view of the cotton uh, 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 samriddhi i am audible samriddhi i am audible yes sir yes sir yes sir acha acha so a cross sectional you can see the cross sectional view of the cotton this is the kidney shape cross section of the cotton fiber that is also called the ribbon uh, rounded longitudinal section this is the view this is another view this is a cross sectional view here you can see the uh, in detail structure of the cotton this is the lumen that is the vacuum space in between the cell walls sorry uh, secondary cells secondary cell wall so here this is the cuticle outer outer layer then come uh, came the primary cell wall and this deposition of primary cell wall that will decide the maturity of the fibers so more the deposition excuse of me, cell excuse huh. me sir so huh. there huh. is an announcement uh, we have shared the ppts uh, just don't uh, uh, i i request the participants to don't mail it back for the request we are resolving the issue and sharing the ppts again we have received so many mails for uh, permission uh, so please wait and have patience uh, and sir you continue thank you sir acha samriddhi ppt ko thoda pdf bana dena tum theek hai not keep in this uh, word file theek hai na you okay. make a, in ppt sorry pdf okay. so this is the 
एफ डी पी वाला चल रहा है सर सो प्राइमरी सेल वाल नेक्स्ट इज दिपोजिशन ऑफ प्राइमरी सेल वाल मीन डिग्री ऑफ डिपोजिशन ऑफ प्राइमरी सेल वाल दैट विल डिसाइड द मेच्योरिटी ऑफ द फाइबर्स गुड एंड हाईली मेच्योर्ड फाइबर्स मीन मोर डिपोजिशन ऑफ द सेल वाल मीन सेलोलॉजिक मेटेरियल इन साइड द फाइबर इन द फाइबर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम मोर द डिपोजिशन ऑफ फाइबर्स मीन स्मॉलर एंड स्मॉलर चैनल ऑफ द ल्यूमेंस एंड स्मॉलर चैनल ऑफ द ल्यूमेंस मीन द फाइबर इज मोर मेच्योर्ड सो मेच्योर of cotton fiber that depends on the thickness of cell wall deposition of cell wall primary and secondary uh, deposition of cell wall especially secondary uh, cell wall uh, thickening and the, uh, and the and the lumen means uh, empty space at the core at the center of the fibers so this ratio will decide the maturity of the fibers either a good fibers mean more matured fibers half matured fibers or dead fiber suppose the degree of cell wall thickness is very low and this lumen lumen uh, lumen is very wider then the fiber will be uh, means uh, graded and given a uh, means rating of immature fibers or or in some cases the fiber is also called the dead fibers and that fiber is not recommended for the spinning so this is a criteria for uh, judging the quality of the cotton fiber especially the maturity of the cotton fibers and more matured fibers mean more good quality of the yarns and from the more quali good quality of the cotton yarns then the industries or the the, the industries is means able to produce the good quality of fabrics so These are the some uh, properties: luxurious, low tenacity, medium elastic recovery, low, and the density is 1.54 gram per cc. Moisture absorption that is 8 percent. That is the good for the fabrics. So that's why the cotton is taken as a good for the fabrics, and that's why the cotton provided a good comforts uh, for the users. Dimensional stability that is also good, and a seed damage or weakage, a seed will affect. I mean directly on the uh, on the uh, uh, chemistry of the this cotton fibers and. alkali alkali resistance effect of sunlight we can fiber slowly over the time so insects uh, insects and flame and and the shape so all the other some properties of this cotton fibers you can see the use of uh, cottons cotton fibers in the whole in textile industry so here you can see that 63% apparel is made by this cotton fibers industrial application of cotton fibers around this 8% and in home furnishing this is around this significantly very high that is the 29% so apparel and home furnishing textiles is the main area of application of cotton fibers and cotton linters means waste of the cotton fiber jo cotton uh, ginning these are the waste are taken from the ginning industries so used uh, in the form of pulp in the form of felt uh, for this upholstery cushions mattresses so 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 mattresses you are using mattresses so all the mattresses are used this uh, cotton waste so yarns Uh, medical cottons uh, and also uh, the swabs uh, ear swabs uh, fiber pulp for the paper industry so paper industry again uh, can use the waste of the cotton fibers so these are the this viscous fiber is also develop and regenerated through the cotton uh, waste especially the cotton linters cotton linters means cotton waste cotton waste so these are the uh, applications of cotton linters and overall application of this good grade of the cottons in terms of apparel and home uh, furnishing so these two apparel and home furnishing is the main area domain for the application of cotton fibers so another fiber that is the jute and uh, everybody knows this india is also leading country in the world which produces the jute and bangladesh is also a leader in the producing the jute and in india especially west bengal and some some part of bihar is producing the jutes so uh, so jute and allied fiber crops constitute a formidable group of vegetable fiber jute is extracted from the bark of the white jute plant and corcoras uh, capillaries and uh, capsularies and to a lesser extent from the tosa jute so these are the botanical name of this cotton plant and a strong threads made from jute fibers are used worldwide uh, slack cotton uh, slack cloth sack cloth means for the packaging and help sustain the livelihoods of the million of small fibers so here you can see the and the bundles of fiber here you can see the uh, microscopic view of the cotton uh, sorry jute fibers so this is the some structural detail of the fibers physical structural detail of the fibers after rating rating is a process of this before the rating and after the rating rating is a process of the converting this bark into the into a 
uh, fibers. And then this is the spinning, spinning of the jute fibers. And almost the, so many industries involving, especially in the Calcutta and around the Calcutta, uh, which are involving in the production of the jute yarns. And from the jute yarn, they are making a bags, gunny cloth and gunny bags. And these all these range of product are used for the packaging of either food grains or packaging of any, any text industrial product. So here you can see the some properties, physical properties, and also at the same time chemical properties of the uh, this this jute fibers, length ratio, fineness in the range of this denier. Slightly this is the coarser fibers, tenacity, and this is the, in the good range, elongation that is slightly low, and density is 1.46, almost uh, lesser than the density of cotton fiber. Degree of crystallinity, initial young modulus, and flexural rigidity, moisture again that is the slightly higher than the cotton fibers, and ultimate cell length and ultimate cell breadth. So this is the, some, some uh, uh, physical and engineering properties of the engineering properties of jute fibers. And here you can see the the application, various application of jute fiber. This is the one good example of this carpet. This is the bags, gunny bags. Here is the ropes. Here is the casters. Here is the yarns, jute yarns. So here you can see the raw jute yarn. This is the yarns, finished yarns. And this is the product, product made from this jute yarns. So besides this, jute can be also used in technical textiles like geo textiles, composite, and packaging. So in the agri agro tech and, and in other uh, industrial application of jute is also uh, recommended. And, and now your time, the widely used this jute material in technical textiles. So next fiber is this flax, one of the nature strongest vegetable fibers than jute and also than the cotton flax is uh, also one of the first to be extracted spun and woven into textiles flax fiber obtained from the stems of the flax plant and flax plant so on the basis of the name of the uh, plant the fiber is also called this flax plant and are used mainly to make the linen so now you now and the linen linen shirts and linen uh, linen top garments and now you become a hot hot products and this is the basically linen linen is a slightly costlier than cotton not not slightly that is the two or three times costlier than the cotton fiber and this uh, this linen based fabric or garments is used especially in the summer so like a cotton flax fiber is a cellulogic polymer but its structure is more crystalline making it stronger crisper and stiffer to handle and more easily wrinkled so longitudinal view you can see the longitudinal view at the magnification of this uh, uh, sorry one lakh magnification this is the view of this uh, linen fiber this is the cross sectional view of linen fibers so here is some uh, properties again physical and mechanical and chemical properties luster medium to high tenacity and strength uh, that is uh, again in the range of this medium uh, elastic recovery that is the low elongation seven percent almost equal less than this cotton and similar to the cotton cotton fabrics density 1.56 uh, almost similar to the cotton moisture absorption 12 percent that is higher than this cotton fabrics dimensional stability there is a good acid damages or weakens so because the nature of this uh, chemical nature of the chemistry of this fiber almost uh, the same either either for the jute or the or the silk or for, sorry either for the jute and also for the cotton all are having the same cellulogic raw materials semi cellulogic uh, chemical structure so so all are getting at uh, means uh, and uh, degraded during the exposure of this uh, acids any kind of acids alkali resistance effect of sunlight good good means resistance to good resistance to sunlight and good resistance to this insects and burns readily uh, in case of the uh, fire, fire catching the fires so these are some applications of flax fibers table bear shootings clothing apparel surgical thread swing threads decorative fabrics uh, bed linen kitchen towels high quality papers so here you can see the some range of the applications artistic canvas luggage fabrics panel clear for the paneling insulation for the filtration filtration of either liquid filtration especially in the liquid filtration fabrics for uh, light aviation usage and automatic uh, autom automotives in the automotive automotives means automobiles in forced plastic composite uh, as a composite uh, in the composite for as a reinforced materials flax could uh, 
conceivably be mixed with the excess grass seed straw or soft wood fiber in composite boards so now a time here you can see the now now we are just uh, having idea about this composite material and day by day new composite and composite uh, materials is just to develop and so many research houses they are doing a department of mechanical and chemical engineering they are also doing the work in the area of this composite and they are using this textile material as a reinforcement materials so so in broadly in the composite uh, composite area of the composite materials this this fiber is also used and due to the uh, better strength and due to the other better resistance to acid and other other uh, resistance to light and the resistance to um, insect so another fiber uh, that is a very very important fiber very popular fiber and high cost fiber that is the wool so wool is a natural protein uh, uh, protein based fibers and we are getting from the animal source and that is basically a fleece of the domesticated cultivated sheep or maybe also from the wild sheep and it is able to absorb and release the moisture make woolen garments comfortable as well as the warms so every everybody is having experience of wearing of this woolen garments uh, everybody knows this the role of this woolen garment especially in the in the in the uh, winter seasons and uh, just for giving uh, um, getting a protection from the uh, cold temperature or cold climate so wool has natural uh, crimpiness and scale patterns so here you can see the scales of the wool this is the scales of the wool and this is the scales of the wool scales of the wool and this scales of the wool in wool in trap the air and that air in air in trap they are given insulation insulation so wool is not basically uh, given a warm property is a scale presence of a scale on the surface of wool fiber that provide the uh, insulation properties heat insulation properties because of the presence of air in trapped in the structure of the fibers so come on the next uh, this is a physical chemical and certain mechanical properties of the uh, uh, this wool fibers so here you can see the this is the moisture absorption that is the very high almost almost double and triple than the moisture absorption capability of the cotton fibers acids uh, the, the the resistance of the stuart the acid is good but at the same time just uh, that is the opposite uh, means properties especially in terms of uh, resistance to acid and and college than the uh, cellulosic based any fibers so this is a more resistance toward the acids but the less resistance toward the uh, alkalis treatment of the alkalis and effect of the strength so strength is the good for these fibers effect of insects damaged by moth and carpet beetles that is carpet beetle is the small um, small kire jo hote hain jo carpet mein hote hain so so that is the uh, that is that is the damaged by moth or uh, carpet beetles and flame burns slowly when in direct flames and shape is shape is the length varies from uh, One and half inches to fifteen inches. So everybody was the Indian cotton is not known for the good quality of cotton. Australian, New Zealand um, uh, uh, cotton, uh, cotton. Uh, sorry, uh, Indian wool is not taken as a good uh, wool. The uh, so New Zealand produced wool and Australian produced merino wool is a good variety. And variety, good variety of wool is described, decided on the basis of the length and on the basis of the thickness, means fineness of the fibers. And especially the merino wool coming from this Australia or coming from the New Zealand, they are having a very good length, I means 10 to 15 inches length in the range of that length. So, so all the worsted fabrics in India, high cost worsted fabric in India, all they are produced from this merino wool, just imported. from the australia or imported from the um, new zealand so indian wool they are using using uh, normally they are used for the um, coarse yarns and through coarse yarn we are just getting the sweaters and other woolen garments so fine application we always prefer to use this uh, uh, imported wools imported wools so these are these are the application two thirds of wool is used in the manufacturing of the garments including sweater dress materials coats suits and active sports wear um, blended and this wool fiber is also blended with other natural or synthetic fiber especially the blends of uh, good quality of wools with the polyester that that, that is called worsted yarns so so that is a very popular uh, means fabrics and now we use for the uh, suits Male suits or any any suits. So all the high priced uh, suiting fabric, worsted suiting fabric, that is the blend of the uh, either natural or synthetic fibers. But among the synthetic fiber, the polyester is the very very popular combination with the merino wools. 
so uh, this add wool adds the drape drape quality and also increases the uh, tree resistance of the uh, um, fabrics fabrics not a fabric garments and slightly less than the third of the wool goes into the manufacturing of blankets anti aesthetic and noise absorbing carpets so in a hall in a hotels and in a uh, big um, uh, means uh, public places we are also uh, recommended to use the wool blended uh, fabric for just to control the noise control acoustic control uh, of the halls or the places and durable upholstery industrial usage of wool include sheets of this bonded coarse wool used for the thermal and acoustic insulation in house construction as well as the pads of shocking of the oil spills so these are the broader application of the wool fiber and the in, in internationally the international wool secretariat secretariat internet iws they are keeping uh, the eye on the all the quality manufactured either by the yarn or the product and on the basis of their percentage of wool they are given a wool marks wool marks so there are three or four wool marks means uh, certification given by iws on the basis of the percentage of wool in the products so wool is the one of the costlier uh, means textile product and come on the silk again silk is a proteinous fibers and uh, silk is an animal derived fiber produced from silk worms uh, and it is the mainly natural fiber which is found in the filament form so wool wool yarn sorry silk yarn is also you will find in two two ways one is the filament forms uh, and the filament is twisted tip, uh, silk filament and another is called the spun uh, silk so fibroin is the main component of silk fiber and it is produced widely from the variety of silk worms such as uh, corpi corpia moth from north america the tasher tusha muga and eri moths from the india and the enape moth from the africa so uh, uh, commercially production is carried out by the mulberry silk by the cultivation by the domestic cultivation moth bombyx mori is the plant they are they are they are eating by this silk worm the cocoon feed on the mulberry plants so here you can see the types of silk so broadly the type of silk is two types one is called this wild wild means the silk worm widely just reared on the plants of the jungles or or, or the or the jungle especially on the jungles and or, or any cultivated agriculture field and that is uh, that is the one kind is airy airy is on the castor plant means airy silk worm they eat the castor uh, plants muga silk and that is found in the assam and only in the world the assam is uh, a state of assam of the india is producing this muga silk so this is a monopoly of the assam in the whole world and tasher silk tasher silk again this is the wild wild silk and produced uh, uh, in our india by the jharkhand urisha and also part of this uh, andhra pradesh these are the leading state states and bihar also they produces this tasher silk so muga silk mostly produced by the assam and airy silk again produced by assam and also west bengal and also bihar and also um, some other states and come on the cultivated silk domestic silk silk reared silk and that is artificially you can just to take the uh, from the um, uh, um, silk worm eggs and just to um, just to come on i will i will discuss all in detail in in the uh, next so there are spun silk that is a uh, spun means the manufactured uh, spun yarns uh, spun silk from the waste of the silk uh, after the after the uh, getting the uh, real silk so after the getting the real silk other waste material of the silk, silk cocoons they are used for the spun silks and in india there are so many especially in around bangalore you will find so many spun silk mills so here you can see the life cycle of the uh, silk worms so this is the egg stage and this is the egg stage egg stage caterpillar and caterpillar this is the larval stage larval stage and caterpillar they are leaves and this caterpillar sorry larval stage and larval stage um, larva larva stage and larva is the silk worms and they start to eating this leaves and after the um, uh, leaves the the leaves life cycle larval life cycle is just going to complete and they just to make a cocoons and inside the cocoon the pupa is just to inside the cocoons and the the, the cocoon is the basically the cell protective cell they made for their saving of the lives and um, this is the this here you can see this is the cross sectional view of this cocoons here is the complete cocoons and from the cocoon from the cocoon we just to reel the fiber filaments and uh, and for the next generation for the next uh, cycles we just after a certain time the some 
uh, some cocoon we are keeping for the seed for the seed and um, uh, sorry silkworm seeds so this is a uh, this is the adult stage and the pupa is just to coming convert pupa is changes into the moths and then this is the butterfly stage and then again go for the uh eggs and this but uh, this butterfly they 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 uh, given a ax and again this whole life cycle of the silkworm started from my egg and this is a another butterfly and during this life cycle we just to get this um withdraw this all the cocoons and this all the cocoons be used for the uh formation of or uh, uh, sorry production of the silkians either real silkians or or a sponge silkians so here you can see the cocoons this is the mulberry cocoons Mulberry cocoons, and there are so many type of mulberry cocoons. Univoltine, multivoltine. Univoltine means just in a one year, and multivoltine means just given a means quality of the silk that given two or three times in the over the years. Here you can see the specific. Uh, this is a muga silk, and uh, I have already told to all of you the muga is only produced in the world in the state of Assam, and this is the wild silk, and that is called tasar. So here you can see this is a petangal pedangle of the tasar silk. That That is the slightly harder than this mulberry silk. Mulberry silk is softer and easily you can withdraw the continuous filament from the cocoon. But in case of tasar, oh. uh, that is more difficult. So for before uh, before going to taking this uh, the uh, uh, reeling of the silk uh, from the cocoons, we need a certain chemical treatment of the this 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 uh, cocoons, hard shell cocoons. Here you can see the airy airy cocoons. And this is the brick red airy cocoons. This is another variety of this airy cocoon. Airy cocoon in the two, mostly in the two. One is the red color, and another is the white color. And muga is having the specific uh, color, and that why they are the, the, similar to the gold. So that is also called the golden silk. Golden silk. And India is only the country where the, India is likely to produce or producing the all four four quality of the silk: mulberry, muga, tasar, and airy. So this is the specific properties of India. Our country, our country is able to produce the whole four available variety of the cotton, commercial available variety of the cotton. Sorry, cotton silk. Sorry, 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 cotton. Me bol gaya. So all four variety of the silk. So here you can see the uh, chemical composition of the silk. So mostly the fibroin is the main component of the fiber, main component of the filament, and sericin is the just outer gum of. gum of the uh, fibers filaments um, yeah, sorry filaments so during the process some chemical process we just to remove the, all the sericin and filament and yarn silk yarn they only contains this fibrin and this is the other pigment and other uh, proteins proteinous materials so here you can see the tasar having the more percentage of fibroin muga again the more percentage of fibroin and airy is the more percentage of fibroin and slightly mulberry is the having the lesser percentage of the uh, fibroin fibroin is the main component of the silk silk uh, fibers so here you can see the some again this mechanical and engineering properties of the this uh, fibers luster is good and tenacity and strength is also good and elastic recovery is also good elongation up to 25% and moisture absorption 11% that is more than the cotton fiber density is 1.3 less than the cotton fiber and easily degraded by the acid exposure treatment and easily de degraded by the alkali ex ex exposures so be judicially selectively select the chemicals for the either dyeing or either for the other any chemical processes to be needed for the silk uh, fibers effect of strength insect resistance to insect is good and in the flame it begins to turn yellow initially and then uh, then then the burning is start going to start so anyway uh, here you can see the silk properties uh, especially the four all all four properties uh, all four quality of the silk so mulberry silk the finest in the range of this 2.54 and airy silk slightly more finer and tasar very very coarser uh, in comparison of the mulberry uh, mulberry silk so the application of the product application in the product that is quite different than the application of the mulberry mulber from the mulberry we are able to produce the fine sarees but uh, in the case of tasar tasar we uh, always prefer to um, um, so, so fine uh, fine sarees or fine fabric is not possible uh, by this um, by this tasar silks so accordingly all the product and quality of product and application of um, uh, for, uh, this this four variety of silk that depends on the 
this properties of the engineering properties of the fabrics uh, sorry and then properties of the uh, silk so so this is the comparative um, comparative uh, properties of all four variety of silk so what are the uses of this uh, silk fiber so silk is uh, renowned for its use in making luxury fabrics such as shirts ties blouses formal dresses high fashion cloth lingerie pajamas robes so so these are the some applications so so many manufacturer the the ties manufacturer they given a, uh, a specific features and quality ki this is the silk based ties and shirt is also blouses ladies uh, dress materials in the ladies dress materials uh, silk attractive luster and drape makes it suitable for many furnishing applications such as rugs bedding and also wall hangings silk has had many industrial and commercial uses in the parachute in the uh, in the bicycle tires comfort comfort comforter filling because the it is it is having a proteinous nature of uh, fibers it is the one of one of the proteinous uh, nature of fibers so that is the more suitable for the human being human beings and also in the use for the uh, human beings artillery and gunpowder bags so so these are the broader huge application of the silk fibers so apart from this natural sources now come and move towards this uh, synthetic synthetic man made fibers so man made fibers are produced from polymers polymers chemical polymers and through the process spinning process and the broader spinning process is called one is known as this melt spinning and another is the solution spinning the polymers in solid form must be converted into fluid forms fluid forms means solid forms polymers must be converted into initially in the fluid form in the gel form either in the liquid forms as a polymer then needs to be forced through the spin rate holes to form filaments and that may be circular or some other shape that is the based on the uh, design and layout of the spin rate so here you can see the spin rate this is the cross section of the spin rate so initially the all the polymer solid polymers must be converted into the fluids and then up, then these fluids are used uh, used and forced through the spin rate and after the spin rate the again the material uh, fiber or filament emerges and then given a process of pulling and the given a process of drawing then given a process of uh, especially filament drawing and then we are able to uh, um, uh, wind the filaments so this is the overall view of this production of this manmade fibers so here you can see this is the molten polymer this is the metric pump just control the feed of the fluids in the spin rate and this is the spin rate and from the spin rate thousand and thousand filaments we can draw from the in, 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 in from the spin rate and here we are just putting this uh, cool air chilling airs for just solidification of the, all the emerges molten emerges liquid form emerges uh, uh, polymers and then this drawing drawing is just uh, given a drawing uh, partially poi and foi all the depends on if i fully oriented filament or partially oriented filaments all will depends on the drawing ratio and this is the uh, lastly the binding uh, uh, on the spools so key requirement is of the melting and the melt stability and then optimum melt viscosity and, um, and the good example of this nylon nylon uh, uh, fibers and polyester fibers uh, from this melt spinning melt spinning so nylon and polyester these are the very uh, popular and uh, popular uh, fibers synthetic fibers man made fibers and all these two fibers manufactured from this uh, melt spinning technology and another is the solution technology in solution technology solution spinning technology fiber forming polymer is dissolved in a suitable solvent so here we, we need a certain chemical solvent uh, for just dissolving the polymers and then the extrusion through the spinet is carried on the major solution spinning operation operation are dry spinning and wet spinning solution spinning is again the dry spinning and the wet spinning so dry spinning and wet spinning the two type of uh, means uh, ways or, or technique the for, uh, for the formation of uh, synthetic fiber man made fiber from the solution spinning dry spinning the polymer solution is extruded into a stream of warm air which evaporate the volatile solvent and then the solidifies the filament and then the, that's why they call the dry spinning but in the same time the wet spinning the polymer solution is extracted extruded into a bath containing chemicals which neutralizes the solvent and coagulate 
solidify the filaments so this is the difference in dry spinning the automatic the volatile solvent evaporated from the filaments but in case of the uh, this uh, this wet spinning we just to neutralize all the chemicals through the solvents and a good example of the viscous rayon so i will discuss in detail in the coming uh, ppt slides so here you can see the dry spinning dry spinning means automatic evaporation is carried on uh, from the filament so no, no need of any chemicals but here the chemicals bath spinet bath spin bath coagulation bath is needed for the uh, neutralization of all other chemicals and this is the process of normally uh, uh, the good example sorry example uh, viscous rayon is the good example of this uh, wet spinning process and acetate and acrylic so acrylic is also a hot fiber hot brand fibers and viscous rayon is also hot brand fiber viscous rayon is normally used for the blending with the cotton in order to reduce the cost of the cotton and acrylic is the just replaces day by day the wool fibers acrylic fiber by, due to the bulkier nature of the fiber given a warm properties so that's why all the sweater all the uh, uh, winter garments basically uh, normally normally other than this still uh, wool fibers uh, made by made uh, made by this acrylic fibers so this this dry spinning and wet spinning that is also one of uh, very popular methodology and technique uh, normally used in this uh, synthetic uh, fiber productions and viscous rayon that is a good uh, very popular product um, manufactured through this technology and acrylic from this technology so i have any question on this uh, process so a stages of manual fiber production manufacturing of the fiber polymer polymer this is the first stage and we are getting from the refinery we are getting from the caprolactam we are getting from the um, crude oil crude oil then the spinning extrusion and solidification the stretching drawing so this is the total textile part stretching drawing improving the strength and crystallinity after the post spinning so spinning uh, so up to this this is a part of the chemical industry and after this extrusion the part means process textile process is going to start uh, and, uh, and that is a stretching drawing 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 that will decide the parsi poi and foi quality of the uh, filament there is a texturizing and crimping texturizing is a process to improve the softness and loftness of the yarns or especially the filaments by the age crimping by the air texturizing crimping crimping and either either there by the twist the twist method so so many technologies are available in the industry for the texturizing of the synthetic uh, filaments in order to impart in order to improve the more bulkiness in order to improve the more loftness in order to improve the more sharpness of this synthetic fibers or synthetic filaments so this is the heat setting heat setting and that for given a more st stability of the dimensional st stability of the uh, manmade yarns manmade sorry manmade filaments and then the cutting according to requirements suppose you want to convert this filament into a staple so you cut at this 51 mm or 64 mm and then you go for the taking this fiber for the blending with um viscous rayon or blending with uh, cotton fiber or blending with other uh, synthetic fibers so cutting is just converting the filament into a staple length and that process is called the cutting process cutting process and cutting uh, that depends on the requirement of the fibers so here you can see the melt spinning and dry spinning and wet spinning comparative uh, comparative uh, uh, comparison in uh, for the investment cost for the toxic hazard and for the heat of uh, spinning and the spinnet hole and spinning speed spinning speed so normally the higher speed you will find in the case of this melt spinning and very low speed you can find in the case of the wet spinning means uh, bait spinning means in the manufacturing of the viscous rayon and in case of the uh, manufacturing of the of the polyester and uh, nylons the speed production speed is very high so this is called uh, this is another gel spinning the filaments first pass through the air and then are cooled further in the liquid bath and polymer is partially liquid or in the gel state I mean gel state not pure in the liquid stage or in the solid state the gel state is just the intermediate in between two stage which keeps the polymer chain some uh, somewhat bound together leading uh, leading to the greater tensile strength so use of production of this high strength uh, uh, this pe and aramid fibers especially in the uh, aramid fibers we just using this uh, gel spinning technology 
so advantage so medium speeds up to the production of this 1500 meter per minute is suitable for uh, liquid crystalline polymers this advantage of the environmental pollution hazard is more in the gel spinning purification of filament is needed and so these are the some come on the nylon nylons so nylon uh, i have already discussed in previous slides about the nylon the nylon is produced from this melt spinning and that is one of the very very popular fibers having a good strength so nylon was the first man made synthetic fiber to be commercialized in, in 1939 and it is the polymide polymide is the chemistry chemical uh, chemistry of this fiber polymers and which amide linkage Uh, so it is the part of the chemistry so there are two methods to obtain commercially important nylons so these are these are the again detail of this production of this nylon fibers and here you can see the view of this nylon nylon fibers so these are the some properties physical and mechanical properties and chemical properties of nylon fibers nylon fibers so samriddhi kitna time hai mere paas samriddhi i am audible yes sir you are audible So, yes, so, हाँ थोड़ा मैं जल्दी चलूं क्योंकि टाइम हाफ एन आवर टाइम इज मोर हाँ यस हाँ ओके सो प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नाइन फाइबर हियर यू कैन सी द स्ट्रेंथ रेंज ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथ इन लॉन्गेशन एट द ब्रेक and also density that is the uh, low density uh, 1.14 resistance excellent excellent uh, so because of this synthetic uh, uh, nature or na synthetic fiber so normally in comparison of the other natural fiber these man made fiber these are the more uh, means uh, resistance towards the all uh, mechanical influencing factors like uh, light and like uh, so anything so here you can see the use of nylon fibers nylon pipe fibers So here you can see the product, which can be made and manufactured on uh, from the nylon fibers. Nylon fibers, a stronger means a, this is the one of the stronger fibers, and all the application, all the uses, their strength uh, just uh, that is the important part. So on the basis of its uh, higher strength, so in such area, especially in the parachute, in the area of this mountaineering, in the area of this this bags, and in the area of this rope, industrial rope, we can use this uh, nylon fibers. Polyesters. So polyester is the, again one of the highest and highest widely used fibers among all other man-made fibers. And polyester is a term used for long chain polymers chemically composed of at least eighty five percent by weight of an ester. So ester is the main chemical, uh, chem sorry, chemical structure of this fiber. Esterification means polyester means poly polyester means just uh, means more molecules of the ester. Polyester is the man made synthetic polymer, filament, or staple fiber. So polyester is available in the market. in the polymers uh, sorry polymers in the filament form and also in the staple forms and all these staple forms can be easily blended with any other fibers either natural fiber or synthetic fibers so polyester textile filament or staple fiber is composed of the polyethylene terephthalate polymers pta pta so pta polyester fibers are most thermally stable uh, of all the synthetic fibers so more thermally stable and almost uh, fulfill all the requirement of aprils so 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 this fiber is recommended uh, wider recommend uh, means application in the dome area arena of the aprils range of the aprils so here is you will find the some details of the fibers density in the range of this 1.36 slightly higher than the density of nylons and drapeability uh, resilience uh, resilience character characteristic that is excellent and drapeability satisfactory moisture again that is the low this is the only advantage of this all either nylon fibers or this uh, polyester fibers uh, having a very less a uh, hydrophilic characteristics uh, than the comparison of the other cotton fibers so compared properties of the garments of the apparel manufactured from this um, uh, means uh, uh, polyester fiber is is not so good so always the blends of the cotton is required in order to just to enhance the comfort properties of the garments sorry any apparels apparels so polyester is widely uh, used uh, in the blended forms in the blended forms either with the cotton or with the viscous viscous rayon so pb blend and pc blend is the very very popular blends uh, in the in the in the uh, fabric manufacturing uh, not in the fabric I mean for the apparels for producing the apparels or for producing the cloths so this is again this conveyor belt tire cord these are the additional application uh, other than this cloths home furnishing uh, 
bed spread seats pillows furniture carpets and even curtains conveyor belts tarpaulins a tarpaulin is a tarpaulin is a material that is used for the covering of the food grains or covering of the any uh, any 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 um, uh, materials from the rain or from the any other and natural hazards for the paper making machines insulting insulating tapes hoj to the very wider application of polyester will find in the in your life especially as a textiles as a industrial products and as, as a, 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 any industrial product or as, as in the textiles at uh, in textiles all the domain of the product uh, all the domain of the product either this um, house furnishing or uh, apparels uh, clothes all where all in applications the polyester is uh used for the their product production of the product so acrylic so i have already told the acrylic is uh, uh, normally again uh, produced by this melt spinning and this uh, this acrylic based product uh, is used for just uh, for warming the temperature warming and insulating the human body and so that's why this uh, this uh, acrylic based garments or fabric is used for the Uh, winter garments and and the chemistry of this fiber is the acrylic nitrile monomers and this 35 to 85% acrylic nitrile monomers uh, and some acrylic fiber are dry spun and others are wet spun so acrylic fibers uh, moda acrylic and all these are the moda acrylic and this acrylic fibers so moda acrylic is the poly modified poly acrylic nitrile fibers and acrylic fibers is poly acrylic nitrile fibers so these are the call call this acrylic and moda acrylic there are the two in great sorry two varieties of this acrylic fiber and both are very popular in the apparel sector and for the cloth manufacturing of cloth so here is the some chemistry chemical and physical and mechanical properties engineering properties of this acrylic fibers again the um, moisture regain is uh, slightly um, better than the polyester and nylon nylon is almost having the zero and polyester is having this point 0.4% but in case of this acrylic the, the regain is uh, 1.5 to 2%. So melting point is this and also uh, um, resistance to are this alkali and and, and acids is uh, good than natural fibers. Natural fibers. So use of this acrylic fibers apparels deep pile coats trims and linings uh, simulated uh, for uh, weeks and uh, hair weeks and also hair pieces children slip wear carrier apparels and a fabric uh, for the fleece formation neat pile fabric backings and nanobands so none of uh, home furnishing home textiles so, uh, so the all almost uh, so many products can be uh, made uh, with this fiber through this fibers and other uses the filter for the filtration either for the gas filtration or for the liquid filtration and the use as a industrial fabrics paint core rollers stuff toys so these are the uh, these are the some application of this polymers and especially in the terms of the uh, materials product polyfin fibers fiber made from this polymer or copolymer of polyfin hydrocarbons uh, such as ethylene polypipeline and called the polyfin uh, polyfin fibers so polyethylene polyethylene and polypipeline poly propylene uh, pp are the important fiber in this group and and now a time polypropylene is very uh, means uh, widely used in the carpet sector in the carpet sector and also in the industrial Uh, application this fiber is having a wide range of this industrial products you can produce your industrial product polyethylene basic structure of any polymers sd high density polyethylene and low density polyethylene ldpe and sdpe so these are the uh, further category of this one minute क्या साइन करना है ना एक इसका कॉपी कर देना रख लेने के लिए है ऑफिस में एनीवे इसको सो दिस आर द सम डिटेल ऑफ दिस पॉलीथिलीन फाइबर्स हियर यू कैन सी द स्टेपल स्टेपल लेंथ ऑफ दिस पॉलीथिलीन फाइबर्स यूज ऑफ पॉलीथिलीन फाइबर्स एलडीपी एचडीपी so heavy duty sacks and carrier bags and for the general packaging film uh, for the lower gauge sdap carrier bags so all this stap aap jo jitne dekhte ho american tourister jitne bhi carrying bags hain or uh, especially by kya usko kaha jaye 
to restore or all this VIP, they are using this polyethylene fiber for their product, either in terms of this, especially this HDPE for the carrier bags, carrier bags made by either Esno carrier, by either the American uh, tourister or either by this VIP or Indian brands and international brands, all they are using this, this uh, 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 polymer for their product. So this is a polypropylene uh, poly PP. Here you can see the staple form of this polypropylene PP fibers. 85% of polymer polymers fiber is the, introduced in 1970. Structurally, it is a vinyl polymer and is similar to polyethylene. And PP is generally available in the form of chips and granules, uh, which are semi-crystalline in nature. And through these granules and chips, we are just able to produce the filament through the spinning. Usage of PP fibers, monofilament in form of monofilament, multifilament, uh, uh, fiber-related yarns and spun yarns. So these are the detail of the application of this uh, polypropylene fiber, sheet cover, automobile, outdoor furniture, carpet packing, rope, and um, this, is, this is another carpet, fish yarns, backing of the carpets, backing of the carpet rope, apparel blended with cotton and these are the broader application of these PP fibers. Here is, come on the regenerated fibers and regenerated fiber means this is the regeneration. As regeneration means the, the natural raw material is the natural source of raw material. Either you are taking the spruce trees or wood pulp. So all the viscosrion or all this uh, viscosrion fiber, acetate fiber, uh, all these are the um, means uh, prepared and manufactured from this natural resources, natural sources like a tree and wood pulp. And so that's why I call this regenerative fiber. We are simply converting higher DP molecules of polymers into the a smaller degree of polymerization. So nature has done the work of preparing something that can be converted into the fiber. So suitable process is required for converting uh, the wood pulp into the fiber, converting into the fibers. The only involvement of man is converting this material in the suitable fiber. Most by, uh, widely used uh, regenerated fibers are viscous rayon and acetate fibers. So here you can see the vis viscous rayon. So uh, with that uh, introduction of these fibers, fibers they are given almost the properties, uh, comfort properties provided by this fiber, and uh, that is similar, almost similar to the properties and comfort provided by the cotton. So that's why PPPB blend, polyester and viscous blends, these fibers are the cheaper rate given the comforts of comforts at the level of the cotton fibers, cotton cotton fabrics. So viscous rayon fiber is produced by wet spinning technology. And the first step is preparation of the spinning, spinnable solution. And, and this is called the viscous. And next wet spinning is carried out, which involves extrusion through the spin rate and coagulation. Coagulation in the, in the uh, um, uh, chamber. Coagulation, and that is called coagulation bath which consists acid and salt responsible for neutralization and regeneration of the original cellulose as, as a continuous filaments. So this is the wet spinning process of wet spinning. So that's why I call the wet spinning. And this is the uh, properties of this uh, luster, dull to bright. Luster is not good, uh, strength is uh, lesser than uh, other fibers and elongation is uh, slightly higher than other fibers, natural fibers. And density is yeah, 1.5. Durability, moisture again, that is the slightly better than the moisture, uh, uh, moisture again properties of the cotton fibers. And again, the same character is sunlight, alkali, sensitive to alkali, and acid, poor resistance to alkali. And again, the damages, again, the damages insect can easily damage this, especially the silvery fish uh, can easily damage the these fibers. So applications. So rayon fiber, viscous rayon fibers uh, used in the apparels as accessories, as the blouse, as the dress materials, in the jackets, in the lingerie, in the linings, in the millinery, slacks, sports shirts, sports wear, suits, ties, and other work cloths, any working cloth, formal cloths, home furnishing, bed spread, blankets, curtains, uh, draperies, sheets, uh, slip covers, uh, tablecloth, upholstery, industrial, again, the industrial applications, medical surgical product, nanomint product, tire cord, in the tire cord, uh, as a tire cord in the um, tires, production of tire, nylon tires, and other uses, uh, this is the hygiene products, hygiene products, 
so in the medical textile in the industrial textiles as industrial textiles in the home furnishing home textiles and apparel textiles so widely used fiber is the rayon fiber a uh, rayon fiber is the cheaper fiber and we obtain we generate the region rayon fiber from the natural sources this is the acetate fibers uh, so similar to that rayon fibers again uh, we just to produce from the either cotton linters or wood pulp through the wet spinning process and uh, simply the cellulose group is replaced by the acetate groups in this uh, acetate fibers so this is the properties of this uh, acetate fibers almost the same properties of viscosity and but slightly better than viscosity ones in terms of the elongations so anyway usage of acetate fibers apparel in the apparel in the industrial usage so in the apparel uh, blouses dresses in linings uh, bedding and party attire and home furnishing and drapers and upholstery so these are the wider application of uh, this acetate fibers in a cigarette filters so in here you can see in the image this is the cigarette filter so in the cigarette filter this is the acetate fibers so this is the industrial application of uh, this acetate fibers and uh, this is the apparel application of acetate fibers and come on the high performance fibers so uh, recent time the high the demand of the high performance fiber is going to increase uh, due to the uh, very hard usage due to the means high performance of the fibers in the use and in the range of the applications and commonly it refers to the fiber with some unique characteristic that differentiate them from commodity fibers such as the nylon polyester and acrylic fibers so conventional fibers uh, high performance fiber volume driven and this is the technically driven and that is the price oriented but this is not application oriented and that is the large scale production but this is a very smaller batch production and that is the based on the requirement that is the based on the demand and day by day the new and new area of application of hpf fibers high performance fiber is going to increases increases due to its application due to its specific applications so here you can see the some conventional fibers and super fibers super fibers nylon and polyester for the cloth nylon and polyester for the industrial use aramid kevlar kelvar kevlar and liquid crystalline polyesters due to the high and high tenacity high tenacity polyethylene just carrying the so many people in the in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a bucket or jo bhi aap kaha, kaha jaye for the fun Uh, fun places you will find the so many types of this entertaining uh, games or entertaining instruments for the entertainment of and for the any fun so they are using this uh, high uh, super fiber high performance fiber for their either carrying a carrying a usko kya bolte hain samriddhi bataye ki pahar pe jane wala trolley for the trolley for them in order to make a trolley in order to make a this uh, toy trains pata nahi kya kahan kahan applications hai for the carrying of this um, uh, this so all these are the application of the high super fibers and accordingly the cost of the production cost of the fiber per kg is very very high in case of this high performance fibers so this is the high strength and high modulus that is a prima facie quality to be required for the high performance fiber this is the more heat resistance fiber this is the more chemical resistance fiber and these three properties made this high performance fibers and based on the nature of bonding linear dimension 2d graphite sheets and 3d networks so how high production high performance fiber produced using additives using surface modification using certain specific and uh, spinning process so are so so such as colorant flame retardants conducting fillers anti aesthetic so these are the new area i have already discussed in the introductory part of this presentation ki day by day new and new r&d are carrying by some countries especially japan china for just producing the new area new type of fibers for the for their specific application keeping in view of the application they develop the new and new, new fiber and new markets of the fiber is going to increases day by day new fibers are coming up coming up in the market for just to given a new comforts for the given a new additional comforts 
for given a new additional uh, mechanical properties and given a, some new additional chemical properties. So these are the way use of this additives, use of the surface modification, and use of any specific spinning process. These are the way of this manufacturing of high performance fibers. How they are selected? Uh, selected on the base of diability, adhesion, absorbency, conductivity, flame retardancy, response to external stimuli means any influencing factor, a special surface characteristics by a special technique. So all these are the uh, physical characteristics, uh, physical characteristics on the basis of these characteristics. Customer, they just selected the high performance fiber as per their requirement. So anyway, a need of this HPA, protective clothing for medical devices, healthcare products, autom automotive components, building materials. Now uh, everybody knows this in the in the in the area of the civil constructions. Day by day, the fibers are high performance fiber are used uh, to replace this iron to re replace the seria in the geotextiles, in the agriculture devices, in the sports sphere for the high performance. Again, for the high performance to enhance the serviceability in the sports, we are also enhance the wear and tear of the fabrics. As sports, we are doing the application, uh, application of the game, leisure wears and filter media for the either liquid filtration or or the air filtration. So, filter media is the another uh, use of this high per, high uh, performance fiber, especially the filtration of the chemicals or gases at the very high temperature, very high temperature. And very high temperature, maybe the in at the upper steam, the the air or the chem, uh, air maybe uh, volatile organic compound or any other dangerous uh, chemicals. Uh, they are uh, they are the part of the upcoming uh, upcoming gases. So in order to just to face and treat all this uh, means uh, hot air or hot or mixed. Uh, VOC materials, we need a stronger and high performance based filter media, filter media. So, uh, so, 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 uh, very, uh, very, um, uh, this high performance of fiber is also used in the area of filtration and separation of either gas separation or either uh, liquid separation. And also for the purpose of environmental protection in the especially in the hill area, they are using the nets. We are using the cloth for just uh, just in order to stop the any 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 erosion of the uh, rocks or erosion of the any sliding erosion of the rocks. And we can also use the certain um, uh, high strength uh, fabrics or high strength net and high strength material for just the saving the life of the people or just facilitating the other other part of the society. So this is the overall knee, huge application of high performance fiber, high performance fiber. Aramids. So aramids were also the reaction of uh, aromatic dimension aramid. This is the classification of aramid fibers. Two type of polymer, one is called the AB and another is called the double A, double B. Nomex, Dupont developed this Nomex. Nomex is the commercial name of the ceramic fibers. And the ceramic fiber is sustained at the very high, high temperature, 300 and around this more than 300 temperatures. So normally the filtration of the hot, hot gas filtration, we prefer the filter media made by this Nomex fibers, Nomex ceramic fibers. Here you can see the different commercially available, this, Aramid fibers, and there are some certain properties. Usage of pyramid fibers. Hello, usage of these aramid fibers in the tire cords. In the vehicle armor, advanced protective clothing, used for the firefighting people, used for the um, other other applications, clothing, protective clothing, carbon fibers, ninety percent the carbon. Control. This is used for the control oxidation and carbonization of organic precursor fibers. Having a smooth surface and silky lustres. This is the precursor of the carbon fibers. Initially need these materials. 
so as a precursor they are using this viscous rayon mesophase peach and also polyacrylic pan fibers this is a some uh, mechanical uh, description of these fibers a specific properties of these fibers high strength high modulus ultra high modulus carbon fibers they are the very costly fibers and almost the application of carbon fiber in 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 in, in particular any requirement here you can see the properties of the polymers and related properties of the fibers high degree of axial orientation of polymer no impurities in foreign particles less number of filaments per two two is a bunch of this filament that is called the two pan precursor this is the one way of this production of this uh, carbon fibers application of carbon fibers aerospace engineering export exporting goods here you can see the different application of this uh, carbon fibers so at the same time the cost of this fiber is also high than other normal textile fibers glass fibers isotropic and three dimensional network structure of this fibers and not a crystalline this is the some engineering properties of glass fibers resistance to good resistance to alkali chemically stable in corrosive acid environment high strength and electrical resistance resistivity high strength modulus and stability under the high temperature so these fibers are used in the industrial applications this fiber is used for some any specific uses for the either the protective clothing the for the person involving in um, uh, in making in the um, involving in um, in manufacturing of uh iron or manufacturing of other other uh, jahan pe bahut jyada temperature rah raha ho jahan pe protection is needed the protection of the human body is the prime requirements so in that area in this area and for, for the any particular uh, uses so almost the glass fiber is is having the uh, more usage in the industrial usage uh, for the industrial aspects and these are the some overall view of this uh, different types of glass fibers what is the ri density and softening point and annealing point strength that is the quite high than than the young modulus that is very very quite high than other the textile fibers ceramic fibers this is the inorganic non metallic polycrystalline solid as opposed to the non crystalline glasses again uh, from the some precursors soil gel roots can be amorphous so ceramic material again is the very hard having the very low density compared to the metals high compressive strength and very good thermal resistance so in case of the higher temperature uh, suppose the any kind of material and any kind of uh, protective clothing you require then you prefer you can prefer this thermal high uh, this ceramic fibers so in filtration also we are using the filter media of the ceramic filter media in case of hot gas filtration and this is the view of this uh, production of this spinning intermediate precursor fiber pyrolysis sintering and ceramic fibers again this is a properties of these fibers dupent or dupent uso also they made these fibers 3m here you can see the industrial gloves they are the people involving in the handling of the high temperature product molten material they handling just to handling the uh, the molten materials in the metal industry in the iron industries in bakery baking industries so they are used you will also find some sort sort of this uh, in our uh, industrial product 
हम घरों में ओवन लेते हैं ओवन में यू विल फाइंड द ग्लव्स दिस इंडस्ट्रियल ग्लव्स मेड बाय दिस थर्मली रेजिस्टेंट फाइबर्स एक्सक्यूज मी सर हां सर टाइम एज पर द टाइम सर कैन वी कंक्लूड यस 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 सो दिस इज द एलओआई वैल्यू एलओआई वैल्यू इज जस्ट टू मेजर द फ्लेम रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द फैब्रिक्स and through the instrument uh, we can assess the loi value of the fibers and loi value means uh, limiting oxygen index so higher and lower that will decide and say about the uh, sorry flame resistance characteristic of the material of the fibers so in our in our lab in nit jalandhar we are also having the loi tester limiting oxygen tester so classification of thermally resistant fibers so i have already told the application of fiber that depends on the properties then you can decide then you select the fiber for the any particular use applications comparison of this all the thermal resistant fibers which fiber is more sustainable to the high temperature you can accord any accord, accordingly as per your requirement you can select the fiber you can choose the fiber chemically resistant fibers especially in just uh, the people involving in the any outbreak of the any chemical industry the rescue people they are they are bearing such a range of the product pc protective clothing in order to handle the, all the uh, chemical uh, chemical uh, um, any blast or any, any any kind of mission happening in the industry and also at the same time the people handling the dangerous chemical they also wear this pc based on this chemically resistant fibers this is a chemical resistant fibers here are the comparative uh, comparative uh, this uh, parameter comparative properties of the fibers so i have already uh, communicated this ppt to my uh, to your coordinator and you will find the, all the all this uh, ppt uh, uh, ppt you will find and go in the uh, go and see the all the details of this fibers samriddhi bhej dena sare logo ko theek hai na yes sir already sent These are the applications: protective clothing, geotextiles, gaskets, protective clothing, conveyor belts, high-performance swing threads, bi-component fibers. Two different polymers. This is the mixing of two di different polymers at the time of extrusion from the same spin rate. Both poly polymers contained within the same filament, but separated by a fine plane. So here you can see the bi-component. types of bi component side by side and core and sheet and uh, pipe edge and this island island in the sea so mixing uh, fibrilization and in iso propagation this is the process steps of this manufacturing of this micro uh, fibrillar composite fibers bi component fibers so here you can see this is outer fiber is different and core fiber is different again this is the this uh, gray is the different fiber black is the different fibers so both the, this one filament or one fiber contains the two properties this is a uh, some uh, uh, functionality anti stat properties liquid absorption self crimping say accordingly you can manufacture accordingly you can design the fibers as per your requirement you can combine the two fibers uh, two fibers uh, during the spinning during the spin rate before the spinning हो गया सर खत्म हो गया दिस इज नैनो फाइबर्स आइए सर चाय बनाते हैं पांच मिनट आइए सर पांच मिनट में बस हो जाएंगे खत्म ही हो गया सर बैठिए सो टेक्निक ऑफ मेकिंग दिस न्यू नैनो फाइबर्स सो एवरीबॉडी नोज एट दिस एट दिस मोमेंट एवरीबॉडी हियर दिस नैनो फाइबर टेक्नोलॉजी या नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फाइबर्स एंड हाउ दिस फाइबर्स गिवन ए गुड कम्फर्ट्स और गिवन ए सर्टन स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टीज they are the way of this production of nano fiber electro spinning usage of electro spun nano fibers for the different applications tissue engineering uh, wound dressings and drug delivery so this is a new emerging area in the area of this textile science especially fiber science new sustainable fibers for the 3d weaving 
or the 3D knitting. DuPont Apexa fibers. These are some commercial fibers made by some companies. DuPont, that is a very popular uh, means manufacturer, USB, USA based manufacturer. They 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 just uh, marketing and manufacture the so many new and new fibers. And in India, near to Hyderabad, they open the R and D labs for the development of new material, fiber based new material for the industries. Jutsal fibers, Evara fibers. Ecosure fibers, pet fibers. Coolmax Ecomade fibers. This is the recycled, uh, this is the uh, Ecomade that is basically manufactured from uh, plastic bottles. That is one kind of recycling of the uh, plastic bottles. Now, now the government is also given a focus and given a support for such a, such type of fibers, manufacturing of such, such such range of fibers, in order to reduce the load on the environment of these plastic bottles. So, thank for your uh, patiently hearing my presentation. And this is the overall production of products product of the apparels manufactured by the fibers and each and every fiber is having each and every specific properties and properties of fiber chemistry of fiber that will decide the properties of the fabrics and properties of the garments so all the comforts all the comfort level and all the uh, ease of use of the any material textile product that de that basically depends on the properties of the fibers thank you thanks to all thank any you, question uh, thanks uh, thanks to all i have any question Wow. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Sir, I think so I hope I hope you will must uh, gather the some knowledge, detailed knowledge of the fibers, especially our participants. So knowledge of fiber is a basic requirement for the fashion technologist, fashion designer, textile designer, or any any person involving in the uh, area of domain of this uh, textile textiles overall textiles and especially uh, apparel uh, production and apparel marketing and apparel designer so basically the material um, quality and product feature of product and quality of product that basically depends on the materials the properties of cotton is different than the properties of silk and properties of polyester is different than the properties of cotton so basically the, all the properties that depends on the materials fibers so that's why the knowledge detailed knowledge depth knowledge of fiber science is the basic requirement for the professionals or any technocrats or any professional involving in the area of textile thank you thanks to all and have you any questions for me so there are no question i think uh, so sir we can end here thank you so much sir this session was very informative and uh, there are many people in the chat chat, uh, chat box we are saying that very informative se uh, se session and thank you so sir thank you thank sir, you one question is there hmm. is olmex fiber healthy for uh, for safe for the skin which fiber olmex and uh, that uh, olmex fiber is a new uh, industrial fiber so, so that that not uh, correlated with the health that is the based on the uh, I means the requirement of the material, the requirement of the product. Okay. Okay. So, sir, thank you very much. For uh, thank you, Samridhi, time. for your support. Uh, thank you, Samridhi and Sushma, for your support for just uh, you are present, uh, present uh, during the whole the presentation and given a support to me time to time regarding the video and audio of this course. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Sushma. And thank you, Samridhi. Thank you, sir. And thanks to all the coordinator for giving me the chance to present uh, the, some uh, information about the uh, fiber science. Thank you. Thanks to all. So to all the participants, next, next session will start at 2.30. Please be present. And the uh, exam will be conducted at the end of that session. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs>